Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah. Okay, my mic is on. Yeah, so, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be playing The Walking Dead. I know it's been a while since I last made a Walking Dead video. But I had but a lot of, like, I was just doing stuff and wasting my time. So, yeah, make sure to like, subscribe if you well, haven't already and hit that post notification bell to always receive a notification every time I post a video. I'm going to try to keep the intro short because this is my third time actually trying to record this. The first time, accidentally deleted it. And the second time, my mic was muted for the first beginning, for like the first half of it. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go back to the first part of episode 3, blah blah blah, skip all this stuff, doesn't matter, or is I hurry up and get to the game, and, yeah. Yeah, basically, Kenny doesn't hate me anymore, or because I helped him kill Larry. And that's the only thing I changed, like I said in the previous episode of this. So, yeah, episode Looks three. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, maybe. They tend to take us by surprise. Yeah, well, the less I see, the happier I am. And since I've already done this, like, twice already, I'm just gonna keep the first beginning of it short and speed run to where I left off. But I will try to choose the exact same words and choices that I did before. Oh, Lee. Where do you come down on staying or going? You mean, packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but have you made up your mind yet? We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. You're damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Okay, so it might have looked like, like, for a second, it might have looked like I cut a part out, but, see, I'm in the same place. I didn't do anything. I was just checking to see if I was actually recording, since I've had so many problems today. Yeah, also, I'm sorry I only posted one video last week, so I'll make up for it this week by posting this in another video. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. And then I also will probably go ahead and try... Lily's not doing so good, huh? I'll try to do t at least one Wolverine Hunters She'll video. She'll be fine. You really think so? I don't know, man. I've been thinking, and huh, I just don't know. And also, for some weird reason, a video that I posted last week, <clears throat> the screen is only black when you watch it, so I'm going to have to take that down and redo it.
Okay. Flip that. The girl still upset with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon? I hope not. She'll get there. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're hey, sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Shit. Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. Shit. I'm sorry, pal. I thought it'd be healed up better. You're lucky it wasn't any worse. You could have. Scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It doesn't matter. We gotta keep moving. Let's just leave her. Let's think about this. Fuck, we gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Kim. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Okay, I'm gonna Don't forget try. underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Okay, I'm gonna try to get everything I got last time. This, 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 over here. Grab this. She's gone. There's not much time now. This. 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 Grab these. Up here. Now's not time for slow sensitivity. This thing. Nothing up here. Open this. 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 I think that's everything. That girl didn't die for nothing then. Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Jimmy, help! Okay, good. I got everything, though. Get 
Okay, he stopped there, I think. Let's go, pal. Oh, that's a pretty intense start to the episode. But we got everything out of this out of the pharmacy. So that's good. There's arrows everywhere. I don't know why. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! He's piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We have to go eventually, Lily. We don't have to do anything. You didn't want to go because of your dad's health, but he's gone now. Easy, Kenny. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. Ken, we're all losing it with the attacks and lack of food. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know What about it. medicine? What about medicine? Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. You just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? We got what we needed. It was just something that had to happen. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right. Stealing, and I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Okay, let's 
let's go talk to Carly. Talk to Lily yet? No, not yet. I will. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. I think about you too. Our group is small. You're small. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Don't call me small. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Okay, now I'm gonna go talk to Lily. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? I'm not stealing shit. I came in here to help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Hmm. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. Okay, you're Robin. Yes. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything... Weird. I'm on the case. Okay.
Okay, now I'm gonna go talk to everybody. No, I didn't mean to go up here. Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. <laughs> hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car, and I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now, because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can uh, go on back to your things. Okay, now I'm gonna talk to them about Do you guys know this. anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Hey, you two. How you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and... I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got? It's serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. I killed someone. Different than Larry or the St. John's. Different from everything. This was before the walkers. Uh, I know. I, I didn't say anything when I met you because I was with the girl and, you know, I, I was worried. I just smashed a guy's head in with a 50-pound block of salt. You saw me do that, right? Yeah, I did. And you're talking about who we were? The fuck does that matter? It's everything this mess has got us doing now, Lee. Shit. Look, is Duck safe around you? Of course. Then shut it. You don't owe anybody any kind of explanation. Hmm, now I'm gonna... talk to Katja. Hi, guys. About the same thing. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I was.
was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you, uh, knew I was a convicted felon. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife, uh... That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I held Mummy back, and Kenny made sure Larry didn't get up. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> Katja. Everything keeps changing. Okay, then. Okay, now I'm going to talk to him. The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Liar voice. Okay, then. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Did you ever come down here to Macon much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh. I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Hey, Ben, I need to tell you something. Surely. Is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. I was, uh, on my way to prison before this. Whoa, seriously? What, um, were you in for? It's not important. Oh. Just, if you hear anything, it's probably true. And now you know. Thanks for trusting me, man. I, uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Anybody else to talk to? I don't think so, so I'm gonna look at this. Hmm. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Dark. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. I have a really good feeling it's not Clementine, but for progression's sake, I should probably ask everybody before her. Hey, Ben, I need a piece of chalk. You know where I can get any? Why would I have any? Just asking around. Well, I don't play with that stuff. I've got my, well, my thoughts, and I've been reading the Bible I found in my room. That's what it's there for. Have you seen any chalk around? Ah, uh, yes. Clementine loves to draw with it. Yeah, of course. I'll talk to her.
Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. Cool. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No, Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. Okay, I won't. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk, you found the scuff here. This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. Mm. Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Okay, now that I can go outside, let's go outside. Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. Hmm. What's this? <clears throat> A bag. Full of supplies. Son of a bitch. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Yo, We've got man, our people out there! Out here. We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! Shit. Crap. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. We have more supplies. We can keep the deal going. Too late, shithead! We ain't giving second chances. It, it was a mix-up. We'll make it worth your while. I'm listening. We'll leave you everything. Just let us walk out of here. So you can try to pay us a little visit, leader? Fuck that! All right, I've had enough of this shit. Drew, take these motherfuckers! Christ! Oh, shit! He's still moving, crap. 
Get back there! Smoke him out! We gotta get out of here! No shit! Get those bastards! Cover our people and get them to the RV! Crap, 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 crap. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Go around, shit! Stay down! Help! Jesus! Okay, got one. Oh crap. Okay, got him. Now! Get over here! Hurry! Man, you saved our asses. Get inside! Hang on! Zombies Where too? Really? Okay, got him. Got him. Got him. Gotcha. Hurry! Come on! Please. Clint, get inside the RV! It's gonna be okay! Go! Crap. Lily, get in the RV! Screw her! Let her stay! Shit! Get down here! Shit! Cat, Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm sorry. Everything's fine. Ben. Everything's not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Please. We have to get it out of you then. Back off. You are in no position to make demands. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're just pointing fingers. I didn't just come up with this. I've had my suspicions. Carly's trustworthy. She's not a traitor, Lily. Thank you, Lee. She can fight her own battles. Unless there's something going on here that implicates you both. Don't be ridiculous. Like, look, maybe we should uh, vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look, Carly's a stand-up gal and maybe this was all just a mistake. Let's just let it go. People make mistakes and yeah, this is a fucking doozy. But it's not worth it, Lily. Then what do we not forgive? Honestly, tell me. Kenny can kill my dad. Carly can steal from us. Where's the line? Nobody was stealing anything. Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. All right, well, we can deal with this now then. Kenny, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out.
This is turning into Among Us now. Like, there's a trader who gave the bandits their supplies. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. Who is the imposter? God damn it. Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. And we have a certain amount of time to vote. Which... You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. We should hear what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really sorry you feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. There's no way it was Carly. It was somebody else. It could have even been someone sneaking into our camp. That's ridiculous. That's what you think? Yes. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Ha, the hell you will. He's broken, Lily. I can see that. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence. Stop treating him like this. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Kenny, what's it going to be? Just give me a damn minute. Ben, you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you. Stop this. You're torturing him. No. Ben, stop. This is about trust, and I've never trusted you. I did it. What? Yeah, it was me. That gets you to lay off the kid? I think you're capable of being a real piece of shit. But I know it wasn't you. Not with her in your life. There. I got it. Please, let's just get back That's in the army. That's not happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Now. What the fuck's the problem? Okay. Well, do I get to kill Lily now? Drop it. Holy fuck. Kenny, what's happening? Keep duck away from the windows. Jesus Christ. Get in. We're leaving this crazy bitch. She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. Please. Not coming, not with, coming us. with us. I'll die out here. Don't care, that's your problem. You're a murderer, Lily. We can't have you with us. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. I don't care what he did before. You know? Yeah, he told me. I don't give a shit. If we keep you with us, how long until you get me? I was trying to protect all of us. I don't have anything left. Get in, Lee. Let's go, you guys. Well, hopefully we never Wait. see her again. A word, please. What's up? Is Duck feeling all right? What the fuck happened during the raid? What's the plan? We've never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Important to stay honest with each other. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it.
duck is bitten. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I... don't feel good. What about Carly? Gone, but won't come back. Because she was shot in the head. That's right. It's horrible. Yeah, it is. I'm glad I have you. Me too. I heard you outside my treehouse that day and thought about dropping a hammer on your head. That's nice. I didn't, though. Thanks. God, it was just a dream. We got something up ahead. Damn it. Road's blocked. Now we gotta deal with this. But what is blocking the road? I really hope that still works. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clem, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? Hadn't crossed my mind. Okay, let's talk to everybody before I actually get on the train. Would you have left Lily back there? On the side of the road like that? Yes, Lee. Yeah? We have to have lines. Yes, I would have left her. Okay, then. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. No. <laughs> that little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Are you okay? I know you were fond of her. I'm used to it by now. We all are, aren't we? She murdered her, Lee. I was there, Kat. I'm sorry. How's that? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. Hey, man, we're still looking around and haven't figured much out yet. It's fine. Radiator could use a rest as it is. Hey, sweet pea. You okay out here? I 
don't think Doc feels good. Yeah, me neither. You, uh, happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? It's with you guys are dead. I would have died out there in the woods, just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. What would you have done with Lily? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. Was it you? Not this again. Was it? No! Okay then. I probably shouldn't have asked that. Whoa. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit. Think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. Map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kenny's got us headed. I'll take this to Kendra for Doc. Thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. Okay, let's head up here and see if there's anything I can use to break the latch. So that we can get this train moving. Don't know what any of this stuff is for. Mm, this looks like it could be useful. Check the rest of them too, though. Nothing here. This last one. Nothing here. Okay, so that means. It's one of the tools in the second locker. Let's head out this way. Okay. 
try to break into this. It's stuck. I can definitely pry this thing free if I can break it loose first. It's stuck. We need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. Okay, go through this door. And this. So what I have right now won't work, so let's see if I can use this. Let's see if this works. It's stuck. We need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. Uh, okay, I think I get it now. I have to find something to break it free first, and then I can use one of those three tools to pry it free. Let's go ahead and see if this last tool inside of here works. Okay. Yep, I figured. It's stuck. We need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. Okay, so I can't pry anything free, so... Let's go see if there's anything up front that I can use. We gotta look him over. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's like fully dead. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it. Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. This horse will take us right to Savannah. 
hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it. I wouldn't mind plowing through some walkers. That's the spirit. Try to get this thing started. There's got to be some sort of manual or something. <laughs> I don't know about that. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. A bunch of maps about Georgia's cities. Nothing about the train. We got a problem. What? We still got the rest of the train attached to us back there. Shit. I tried to yank the pin out, but it won't budge. Well, we ain't going anywhere until it does. There's a notepad on the train. Do you have any pencils or anything in your pack? No, I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? There used to be something written on the notepad that I need to know about. Well, if you're not using it, I'd take it. I'm out of paper, and there's all sorts of new leaves around here. Okay. Head inside here. Now let's leave and go up here. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Okay. So. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Um, let's look at this. Down, down, up. And then let's look. Yeah, down, down, up, up. Up, down, up. 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 And up. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Okay, and five. Horizontal, vertical. Why not horizontal then? Now we're talking. And then nine. Nine. 
Oh, nine is it on here? Oh, maybe it's out here. I passed it. The soccer. Okay, what is it? Then left, right. Left. Right. Holy shit! We're golden! This thing is loud. So what? We're barreling down the tracks at 40 miles an hour. I don't care about the noise. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. Probably not because of it's that latch yours. in the back. This right? Damn it! Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah. Okay, now I think I can and uh, um, get rid of the latch, and we can move. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. You touch any of my stuff? Where'd he come from? I took the map of the train routes. That's fine. You can have that. Really? Yeah, I got them all right up here. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. Is that your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy. Ben, too. Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got. Although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on that? Stay with us. We'd like the company. Okay, now I'm gonna hey, talk Chuck. to everybody again. Howdy. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. 
It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids, and this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. Hey, sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. It taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. Talk to Ben next, and How then talk Jim. I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? Okay, and that was a short talk. I better get back to it. Oh, I can't talk to anybody else anymore. So, on the train I so go. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Want to ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think okay. he just wants to talk it through. It's talked through. Get on, cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get them? No. Ah, Livin' got them. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. Why do I why do I still have the rag though?
You need to stop the train. Oh, Ken. so I can show it to him. What? Ken! What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. You're in denial. And you've given up on Duck, on everyone. Stop it, goddammit. Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? Calm down and... How the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? By talking to your friend. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid, and a bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to be extra nice to Kenny if I still want him to be my friend after or what I think is gonna happen. Ken, it's I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if, what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Can just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. I'll do it. No, it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. Please, right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest? So Clementine doesn't have to see. Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Don't 
Stark is dying. I know. What are you doing? I'm putting him out of his misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clem. Things are... What the... No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. Oh, crap. Did I say nice or did I say extra nice? I don't know. I meant extra nice. Crap, I have some sucking up Cat, to do. Cat, gotcha! Why? Cat, honey. Oh, fucking God. <laughs> Wow. Chuck said. What Chuck say? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did. Swear. Sorry. I'm gonna go talk some sense into him. Don't be mad. Hey. How you doing? Say it to me, asshole. What you said to my girl. Excuse me, son. Telling the little girl she's gonna die. You wanna scare people, scare me. Motherfucker. Okie dokie. She's gonna die. Son of a bitch. How is that? How about I throw your sorry ass off this fucking train? Now we're both scared. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I'll tell you. As long as you don't toss me over the rail. I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. 
If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. I'm not a barber. It ain't gotta be styled, Jesus. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack, and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. Okay. Explain to her how they work, and not to be afraid. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. I'm sorry to hear that. No one to blame. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there, about whether or not you folks want company. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. Be safe up here. You betcha. Okay, I think I should probably just leave Kenny alone for a little bit. I'll talk to Ben. Hey, Ben. Hey! Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah, I guess not. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. See you. Yeah. There just so happens to be some whiskey here. It's a fifth of whiskey. He's lived here a while. They look clean enough. I hope we're not on this train much longer. Found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Sure. Ooh. Not known for its finish. No kidding. Anybody in there want to share a drink, you let them know. Will do. Hey, man. You and me, we... Uh, oh, fuck it. Let's just get to the ocean. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. Yeah, that'd help.
And now let's go cook on stairs. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend. That he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me. Kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look. We're not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay, what should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little, so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. Be careful around Ben. I like Ben. I know. He's just young and doesn't make the best choices. I'm young. You're smart. Just listen to me, okay? And be careful. What a crappy day. The crappiest. And three months ago, I'd known what you'd be seeing. I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You're damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? These are just bottles, but you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Okay, a little higher. A little bit more to the left. Aim lower. Close. Now keep it steady. Close. Now keep it steady. A bit to the right. Steady now. Almost got it. I got it. Excellent. Good shot.
Aim more to the right. Aim a little higher. Steady now. Almost got it. A little bit lower. There you go. Nice. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh uh. No, I need to cut her here. Hey, Clint. Hi. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Cause it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? Yeah, of course. I don't believe you. Well, good. Good? Means you know when someone's lying to you, which is another valuable survival skill. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> good. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah, you need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I'm sure they're okay. Yeah, it's best to stay positive. That's what Dad always says. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm... Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? 
Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M. M. something Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little shot. Thanks. I guess we should see how far- Oh, shit! Hold on, everybody! Maybe we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly. Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Hey, I'm not gonna bullshit you. Our group is a little fucked right now. We had a bite victim, then his mom took a life, and before that, just... It's okay. Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Well, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone, first day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I, uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. That train is awesome, though. That tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road, alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. It's empty. I 
that's about the only useful thing in here. Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan or what? Uh, no, I don't think so. Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, it's been a bit of a day. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Well, looks like I'm going to that station then. Over here then. Let's walk over here. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Honestly, I don't think this wall stuff doesn't really matter. Somebody must have been I pretty desperate. Side. That paint has been dry for months. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. <clears throat> hmm, won't budge. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. <clears throat> okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock. Which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. Well, I'll be damned. Now it's going Let's here. go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. Damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. Why is there a time on that? I don't know. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. Around. 
blowtorch. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah, we need to get in there and get that blowtorch. They didn't have much business back then. Locked up good. And aren't there keys somewhere then? Can't reach them from here. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. Let's send you up there. You Con. okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <gasps> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Behind you! Okay. This. Okay, I think they're dead now. It's okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Hurry up and grab the key, hurry up and grab the key, hurry up and grab the key. Keys, now! Okay, take them. Fine. And... still locked! Oh, nope, I meant circle, circle. Okay, now open it. <sighs> God damn. That didn't go so good. No. It did not go so good, but we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. I don't have to prop the door open anymore. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. We learned not to be afraid. They should have got us. But we got them. Yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that will kill us. You understand? I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. OK, 
Okay, now we're back here, so I can climb the ladder. Shit. What's up? The hole says a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Plug it with the tape. Hope this holds. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. I can't reach it now. Damn it, it was just about done, too. Crap. It's too far off the edge. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. Think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Oh my God. <laughs> Something coming! What the what? There must be thousands. We gotta go! Fuck! Omi! Cut! Cut! I am! It's going! Pull me up! Kenny, go! Shit. What the hell do we do now? What the god this works? Holy crap! We gotta jump! What? No way! Guys! Fine! You stay here and we'll go with your lady! The hell you will! They got him to jump. Crap. Shit! Uh. Run! No, help Omid. No, her, not me! Krista, no! Fuck! You piece of shit! She's a woman! Don't you know- uh. Baby, it's okay, honey. I'm okay. <sighs> that was a lot them. Are you hurt? No. We're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is fucked. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Well, if it doesn't end there, I don't know how it's gonna end.
Next stop, the Atlantic. We're finding Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. Looking for them then. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talked it through. It's gotten too bad, you know? You, me, nobody can take all this. But we have. What we're supposed to do isn't clear anymore. I'd give anything to go back to fighting over the motel. <sighs> me too. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. What the? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Holy shit. I thought that fucking thing was broken. Me so too. Who the fuck was that? If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents... Y'all might want to rethink your plan. Well, I guess that's how it's gonna end. We're almost at the river. You want to get on a boat, or you want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? I know I promised that we'd find your parents, but Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, dammit! Into. You come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I will kill you! Wow. Okay, before I read this, so, like, a few seconds ago, oh, it might have seemed like it cut out, but that's because I ran out of time, because on PlayStation I can only have up to an hour of video clips. So basically, you literally just missed one sentence. That doesn't even really matter because if you missed anything in like in the in next time on The Walking Dead, that it always shows at the end. It happens. So yeah. So anyway, sweet merciful death. Did you shoot the girl in the street? You and 59% of players did not shoot her. Time. Your body who did shoot her doesn't care about time. Did you abandon Lily? You and 45% of players left her. Yeah, because. Is. Ew. Yeah, because. If we kept her. Then. She would probably get back at us somehow, so she could steal supplies, she could steal the RV, anything, so. Also, I hated her for shooting Carly, so that's another reason why I left her. Did you fight Kenny? You and 45% of players talked him down. Yeah, but that's also because I, because... I want him to like me if I shot him if I fought him I was reading a heavy burden if I fought him then he would probably hate me more than he does right now did you did a heavy burden did you shoot duck you and 81% of players shot him I don't think I sh need to explain this one but no parent should have to shoot their kid so that's why I shot him a helping hand did you help Omid 
Even 60% of players help their mead. Again, I don't need to explain this one. Omid's leg was really, was badly injured. So if I didn't help Omid, Krista would have been really mad at me. So, yeah. I hope, it's the credits are quieter than that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell to al to always receive a notification every time I post a video if you haven't already. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And there doesn't need to be a like goal on this video since in the previous one I said if I got five likes. I'd finish the series, and I got five likes, so I'm gonna finish this series. I don't know when it'll be finished. I'm hoping no later than the second week in November, but who knows? We'll see. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you next time. Bye.